temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gracia. Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light stuff. elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Left side. short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh. Tricky. Oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. Back to it then.
Why not simply hold it in place? The angle looks right. What became of Kabasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Watch your left! On the other side. Mm. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Down on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. We can continue up this way. Come. Do what you must. Father, watch the oars. Last to an up. Behind you. Look out. I still 
still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? He feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Ah, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns. Nor do I wish to try. Here we go again. Strike ball of light coming your way. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue field. That angle isn't gonna work. 
Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. Now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Last time we were here, that's. I'd wondered what became of Spark. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well 
done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Jump! Your father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now. United by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he you said he... went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the all die? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one.
There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. This will be of use. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Wear it with pride. I'll take him. May it strike true. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Ah. 
Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. There used to be a Nornir chest down here. Focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Quickly now before more arrive. Right side, brother. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. Far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Over here! You're chained!
Hey, Tear? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? Keep moving! Yo, 
Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. suppose the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. If I can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care? There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else question. might there Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithhog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. 
a delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Please come back any time. All right, take the hit. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help me? <clears throat> You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables from out of the dirt. That just ain't right. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Dress. <laughs> Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but to use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that you oh atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. 
You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? And possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Okay.